this Gen Z woman has gone viral because her nine to five job mm-hmm. is making her sad. It's her oh. first job out of college. Uh-oh. Okay. And she commutes to the city by train and it's quote taking forever. And I would say that the people in the comments are divided, but it is not divided. Okay. I have some of the comments. Like if you see the video and you are like her or you're listening to her going, oh my God, don't read, do yourself a favor. Don't read the comments. They are not on her side. <laughs> and honestly, they're not very helpful. Okay. Mm. You know, it's just people commiserating and not necessarily, uh, nothing constructive. Well, I mean, what can you say to her? Hey, get used to it. You right. got I mean, 40 this, more years this is of this. life. Yeah. 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 All right. Here's uh, here's what she said. This is my first job, like my first nine to five job after college. And I'm in person and I'm commuting in the city and it takes me fucking forever to get there. There's no way I'm going to be able to afford living in the city right now. So that's off the table. Like fucking duh. If I was able to walk to work and it w- it'd be fine, but I'm not. So it literally takes me like I leave here. Like I get on the train at 730 and I don't get home till like 615 earliest. And then, like, I don't have time to do anything. I don't, I want to shower, eat my dinner, and go to sleep. I don't have time or energy to cook my dinner either. Like, I don't have energy to work out. Like, that's out the window. Like, I'm so upset. Oh my God. Nothing to do with my job at all, but just like the nine to five schedule in general is crazy. Being in the office nine to five, like, if it was remote, you get off at five and you're home and everything's fine. But, like, I'm not home. It takes me long to get home and, like, Like, people that drive to the office, like, it doesn't, you don't get off at five, and I know it could be worse, I know I could be working longer, but, like, I literally get off, it's pitch black, like, I don't have energy, how do you have friends, like, how do you have time to, like, meet, like, a guy, I don't know, like, how do you have time for, like, dating, like, I don't have time for anything, and I'm, like, so stressed out, and I'm also getting my period, so that's why I'm all emotional, but, like, am I so dramatic? It's fine. Okay. After hearing it. I, I'm a little more sympathetic. I, I kind of. I mean, I totally get it. I totally yeah. get it. And and it was interesting because mm-hmm. uh, this came up this morning, and I literally just had a conversation with somebody yesterday about this. And a lot of it is time management. Sure. And and how to like it's something she and, has to mm-hmm. learn, and it's something that I had to um yeah commit to of mm-hmm. figuring out okay what are my during the week I understand like the work week is the work week, and you have work which takes up a big chunk of your yeah, time your obviously day. right you have a you have a job. All right, so other than that, what are my personal priorities? Well, I had to figure out a way to prioritize sleep with the weird hours Mm -hmm. that we have and everything else. So that was like a priority. Um, And then, you know, my wife has her priorities with, you know, she wants like Mm -hmm. some time together to like actually Mm -hmm. sit. We don't even have to like have some big deep conversation, whatever. Just it's a a chunk of time where it's like if there is something to discuss or just to, you know, hang out and conversate about something, there was that. And obviously the kids and everything else in the mix. Mm -hmm. But you like bored. Board prioritized, uh, you know, um, his schedule a little bit differently than I do mine. But anyway, it's it's a it's a time management thing. There's not a lot of time during the week for right. sure. Exactly. And I think that's the thing. Like with uh, someone coming out of college, you're coming off of like childhood and college. Right. You know what I mean? Where it's like I tell my kids all the time, man. Like, dude, enjoy it now. Yeah, oh, but they don't. <laughs> they don't realize, and, don't I, and I didn't either. They don't. Know. No, nobody, no kid. I does. enjoy a lot of the freedom of being an adult, but what I do miss is the carefree sure no responsibility summers off, of course. summers yeah. That, yeah my my son just had a fall break what oh, wow right he's gonna be off for thanksgiving huh. on top of that and on top of that gonna be off for uh you know christmas what right now it's the best yeah yeah it's just know. not it's not as easy when you're an adult and you got responsibilities yeah. and everything else now yeah. again um she'll figure it out some of these are just not uh Helpful, like Gen Z needs to collectively move up into management positions and then collectively enforce the four-day work week. Oh. Honestly, we're so here for that. <laughs> Who isn't here I, for a four-day work I mean, week? I mean, the rest of the world <laughs> is, just not <laughs> yeah. America. I know, right? Uh, I had a crisis when I got my first nine-to-five job. Literally, I couldn't believe this was life. Well, this yeah. I mean, is so harsh reality. This uh. is so real, and anytime I bring it up, everyone just kind of shrugs and says, welcome mm-hmm. to the real world. Yeah. Well, no, yeah. Again, none of those comments constructed. But then there was this one, and kind of what we we're just talking about. You are not alone. You will find the schedule that works for you, girly. Okay. Oh, oh wow. Girly. I also like this one. Uh, you're living your life right now, just like all previous generations have. Uh, you're not special. You want to have more time to do stuff? Try getting the f off TikTok. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. I thought that was pretty funny. That's a valid point. She had time to make that. Right. Well, I, but I mean, was she I commuting mean, when she did it? Maybe. 
probably have to kill some time some way. Yeah. Well, I was having... I'm because of our schedule and how stupid it is. And yeah, the it's thing the it... worst. But um, do you know who helped me actually was, of all people, Rob Durdeck. Um, you know, you might know him from ridiculousness. I know him from like pro skateboarding, but he has a podcast about time management because he has so many different companies yeah. and how to have that work life balance. And I listened to him a couple of times. He has like clips on, uh, on social media. Yeah. I found it super helpful on how to have some extra free time during the oh, week yeah. and right. be able to do my job. Yeah. I find okay. like, you know, again, I think sometimes like with our schedule, our day is just shifted and people call the, the, the same way they'll say to us like, Oh my God, you're done at like, yeah, you know, you're off lucky. the air at 10, but you're home by like whatever. Oh, did you? you're so lucky. They think that we got up the same time they did right. and have the same amount of energy that they do to then, you know, have this life where you stay up until 11 o'clock at night and then get up and go to work at two o'clock in the morning, which is not the, uh, which is not the case. Yeah. Right. It's a, it's, a, it's a day, but it's, it's shifted mm -hmm. early. Right, exactly. So if you wake up at mm -hmm. seven, Ours is five hours shifted backwards to right. two, you know. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, of all people, did an uh, interview recently, and I thought this was pretty good. He was talking about um, how he thinks going through a bit of struggle is key to becoming a strong person. Uh -huh. He says that uh, people bathe themselves too much and are creating a generation of wimps and weak people. This is almost separate from what I'm talking mm -hmm. about, and that's not it. But he says the more you struggle, the further you're going to go the stronger you're going to get. The human mind can only really grow through resistance. You can only strengthen your character, become a really strong person inside if you have resistance. He says, quote, let's go and teach these kids to be tough, to do sports, to study, to struggle, to go through these kind of painful moments sometimes. And I was, I was thinking about that separately, but after I heard some of this other stuff and it got me thinking about it, after my conversation uh, with, uh, with someone yesterday, um, you know, everybody... Like, dude, I'm 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 struggling big time right now. Like, Ravi came in this morning and tried to get my uh, my blood pressure. That's right for this thing that I'm for doing. I'm like, T today's not the day. Like, I've got he's like I'm stressed. And I got my mm -hmm. own struggles going on. Like, every everybody's got their struggle. Everybody's struggle is different. And as much as like it was uh, a thing to figure out, those other things that I figured out, like for my own schedule, Bort figured out for his stuff. When we, when we are now talking specifically about this, like once you figure it out, it feels really good. It feels good that you mm -hmm. navigated that. You that. It mm -hmm. Yeah. I was just giving it a lot of thought yesterday, and then all of a sudden, this thing popped up today. I'm like, what? See, when you described her, I thought, oh, mm. geez. Like, get used to it, girl. And then, then I, you hear the clip. Oh, you can yeah, hear you her can, emotion. Yeah. You can definitely sure. hear I'm not saying it's not real and, for her. Mm, right. That's right. her reality right now. Right. But like yes. I said, she'll figure it out. And yeah, she you'll said, figure it out. You know, I know I could have it worse. Like, she realizes. Yeah. You know, it, yeah. it is not easy. Yeah. yeah. It's a it's an adjustment for sure, right? Yeah, you know, and it, but every, everybody's got their own things going on. Everybody struggles. It's just a matter of are you willing to, you know, um, figure that struggle out. Do what you need to do mm -hmm. in order to figure figure that that uh, that struggle out. And there, and it doesn't matter. Like you know, it's not all about money, or it's not all about you know uh, necessarily time. There could be other things that are going on that are impeding your ability to. You know, uh, I don't want to say compartmentalize, but like at least take it step by step. Like yeah. some people, I think, get overwhelmed about the entire thing because you're looking at like you ever have a thousand things to do and you don't of know course. where to start. Same yes. kind of thing. Oh, when that happens, I just kind of lay in bed and just <laughs> <laughs> go on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, Matt just gets really high. I just get really and high and, and like, eats cookies ah, out of the garbage. I'm like, yeah, I'll just do it later. <laughs> I'll get to it. Yeah, yeah. 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 But, but anyway, with, with the Rob Durdeck thing, sorry, real quick. It's just like um, a really simple thing. It's like, okay, let's say, you know, I do a podcast with a bunch of our ex coworkers. I c I'll only do it on this day at this time. And if I can't do it that day uh, at that time, doesn't happen. Then it just doesn't happen, yeah. you know? Yeah. And because then I won't push it back to another day. Yeah. And then I'll get overwhelmed mm -hmm. because I'll have other things yeah. to do. So I'm, I'm with Greg. I, I do yeah. have the, because she just hasn't figured that out yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And there's ways to look, mm -hmm. you can figure. You can figure there, there's so much that is within your control. You can figure things out, but you have to, you know, go through. It's a process. It is, yeah. you know. And, and the other thing, hearing the clip, she's not wrong. No, not you at all. know. No. You get home when it's pitch black. You're you're up early, and yep. yeah, it's not easy. But you're also not alone, right? That's and, that, and that's the thing. Like you are not alone. Everybody's going through right. the same thing. Other people have two and three jobs. Sure, you know, and uh, 
it, it's just it's just a matter of prioritizing and like Menace was talking about that priority of the um, podcast stuff that he's yeah. doing or whatever. That find whatever those things are and you hard schedule those into and then everything else revolves around that. And if it's yeah. financially feasible, she could yeah. try to move closer to work, mm-hmm. if, if possible. Yeah, depending on, I don't know yeah. what the city is, yeah. but she says the city. The city. Typically, yeah. that's New York. Because yeah. people who are in New York or in that area, they just they don't say into New York. They say in the city. Into the city. Yeah. Other people will say, like, oh, I got to go into and then whatever the city is. Right. And she can't afford to live there right now. R- right. <laughs> yeah, nor can most people. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so, you know, based on a couple things, I, just, I thought, uh, and this thing came up today, I'm like, man, this is some kind of, I know Sammy believes in all that weird sign stuff the universe and whatever talking or whatever i just figured like this would be a good thing to you know kind of bring up number one to let people know they're not alone number two uh to try to help and get some perspective or whatever from Mm -hmm. uh from other folks and yeah are we still in retrograde or what what's going on no we're not currently oh damn it's not oh oh, okay well that's just that's good that's good okay but typically isn't that like um that's just like uh electronics and stuff right no, it's that affects- oh. Well, it's communication and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. it affects oh. a bunch of different things. But it yeah. is technology, communication. That's what I thought. Of yeah. course. I mean, you know. And mood. Yeah, like a planet is affecting the technology for here sure. on Earth. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Blame a planet. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's in retrograde. <laughs> uh, oh, you know what I'm saying, Greg? Yes, and I know what that means. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. All right, we got to uh, take a quick break. And by the way, one thing that I cannot, and I, I, I say this, and I and like talk about a struggle or whatever, uh, I figured out time stuff. I've not figured out weight stuff mm. or working out stuff or eating properly stuff. Right. Like I know what to do. That's I know what thing. I need to do you or whatever. It's just it. a matter of like getting to it. Right. And we trust all me, know. it frustrates me and it pisses me off and, and everything else. And people go, well, just do it. Just do it well, already. Because and, we're obsessed with losing weight and eating. And I yeah. understand that. Right. The pro- exactly. I'm, I'm and so when people say that, that, I know they're trying to be helpful and everything else. So. I, I, while I'm sitting here saying like, well, you got to prioritize, you got to like, I understand it's uh, it's easier said than done sometimes. But a, as someone who's gone through at least the time part, I've been doing this schedule for God knows how many years at this mm. point. I it took forever, but I figured I figured out what works for me, right? And mm-hmm. so now that I figured that out, I'm like, man, it feels really good. Maybe that's where people are talking about like, oh, nothing tastes as good as skinny feels. I argue Oof. you haven't eaten the right stuff. Not <laughs> true. <laughs> That's my argument. Yeah, it's like you... going up to a smoker. That's bad for you. <laughs> they know. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Have you been to John George's at Aria <laughs> Casino? Mm. Mm. Rules. Yeah. The sushi, the sushi sampler? Oh, my God. And that's not even that bad for you. Yeah. Yeah. Try that molten lava cake thing. Oh, oh yeah. Try some of that stuff. Mm. I'd love to. Have you tried that? Mm. <laughs> I guarantee being fat is not a bad trade off for that. Pretty, pretty yeah. Good. Yeah. But so, anyway. While I understand one part, at the same time, I can't get it together on the other part. So, yeah, this is lost. But you're not alone. 